Okay, so <clears throat> continuing with where I was before, I first want to say I can only talk to you about things that I've done myself that have worked for me. And I'm not fluent in Chinese. I can't fluently read a novel or anything in Chinese. But I have gotten beyond the point of looking at words as pictures and funny characters and squiggly lines. So one of the techniques, I'll show you a paper that I had back in 2007, right? See that there? The concepts I'm talking to you about is what I actually did. If you can see here on the left side, I was writing down characters and characters like this one here, which means horse, right, is inside of this this big paper here. What I did, oh, look, there's a character again. And look what that says, da. We know that means big, see, look at that. Da means big, okay? So, one thing that I did is I took this Chinese paper, which looks like a bunch of stuff. It's, it's, I get agita looking at this stuff before. Now I still, oh, it's still a little far-fetched uh, for complete reading, but I can go through and, and get some concept out of it. What I did was, if you can see here, I went through and circled the characters that I was familiar with, so like year and, and da, da, as I was learning. The reason I know what year means, for example, or let's say month, sorry, is here in the date, you can see 2007, I guess that's the year, yen, then six, the month, and then il, uh, one is the day. So I know that that means month. And I know that that means day. Then I can guess that this is the addition or something and and just kind of slowly move on inside of this until I can learn more and more and become more confident with the, the words and things. So, just thinking about it more, in this paper, um, one of the characters that I couldn't figure out, which I kept seeing, was this character here, which is, I guess it's kind of like this, which I have here stands for horse, right? And then I have here, Yue, Yue, uh, I'm guessing that's that this is the character here, Yue, and this might all be wrong, but I'm just looking at it, looks like it might stand for month, right? And horse in Chinese is ma, um, ma, I'm sorry, ma, yeah. So, again, my goal here is not to show you proper Chinese, it's to give you confidence that you can learn Chinese and pick it up and be able to read it independently. And that's the whole goal with what I'm showing you. Things are going to be wrong, you're going to make mistakes, ask Chinese native speakers to help you out with some characters you can't find or look up. and use the internet and things and try to figure it out but the the ultimate point is to get you to where you can just sit down with a paper like this and start circling characters you know start trying to understand what we're talking about last thing i say see this picture here looks like it's talking about cows right so then you start going through something to do with cows and you can start going little by little through like ye or uh, different characters that you know to try to figure out da something big about cows right and and get to a point where you're reading and understanding look at that even Kobe Bryant's in this paper so you, you have to figure that somewhere in this language here 
it probably says the pronunciation of Kobe Bryant's name. Alright? So that's it. We'll chat soon.